Hi, um, so I'm going to be talking about um, how the Navajo had a huge part in World War II and how World War II was won by America. Um, so Native Americans throughout history, they don't have a very good um, rep from pretty much any of us, you know, they're, they're savages, they're this, they're that, they're the other thing. Um, but in the course of World War II, um, they single-handedly helped win it. Um, so, yeah, that's the traditional historical view um, of how they are perceived, um, you know, throughout time they were also um, abused and um, looked down upon, you know, they were at reservations, they were used as slaves, that sort of thing. Um, so they just don't get a really good reputation and obviously um, because of the new world coming over and that sort of thing, they don't have the land that they once had. Um, a lot of them are on reservations or, you know, kind of in hiding, that sort of thing. Um, but um, specifically the Navajo um, helped win World War II with America. Um, because Americans found out that the Navajo language cannot be written. It can only be spoken. So it is very hard to understand it in general because obviously you can't write it. You just, you have to know. Um, so during World War II, when Americans found out about this, they thought, okay, well, we need them and we're going to, you know, code with them over in Japan to code back to America to figure out, you know, what's going on. Like, hey, they just bombed this or hey, they just did that. So um, they, they went through a huge sort of interview, um, each of the Navajo men that were going to um, help out with this. Specifically, I think there were only 50 at the end that actually went through with it um, because they had to fluently speak Navajo and fluently be able to speak English just so it was very clear what they were saying. Um, so pretty much they would, someone over in Japan would give them a word and they would piece by piece write it down letter by letter. Um, and you know this really frustrated Japan the fact that they could not figure out what was going on and that sort of thing. Um, and then um, they never ended up breaking it, which was the really cool thing. Um, this was, it was literally foolproof at this point because no one would be able to get it except for them. Um, and then the bombing of Hiroshima happened and that was just kind of the end of World War II. Um, and a lot of people do not know that. Um, they just kind of know that, you know, hey, we, we bombed Hiroshima, not, hey, the Navajo helped us figure out what was going on so we could do this. Um, so that's just kind of the narrative of it. Um, I, I'm not, I mean, besides the fact that Native Americans get a pretty bad rep, I'm not sure why as to why that's being skipped out on in history books and that sort of thing because honestly when I figured that out I thought that was the coolest thing like there's this whole different language that one can't be written and two helped win World War II like this led up to the bombing of Hiroshima and that's it um I don't I'm, I feel like because people don't know about this it has not changed anything um, for better or for worse, I think it's just kind of <laughs> stayed neutral. Um, but then, um, in the book, um, it says, it's talking about, um, cognitive dis er, dissonance, and it says, um, in these circumstances, individuals will go to great lengths of dissertation, denial, and self preser <laughs> self-persuasion in order to justify their past behavior um and this comes from i think chapter three um and i think that fits very well with 
how Native Americans were treated after this and that sort of thing. Um, just because after World War II, they were pretty much just shooed off by Americans. It pretty much paid off to not talk about it, to not let people know. Um, there's actually a really good documentary um, that I watched in my Native American class that talked more about it. Um, it I think it's just called the Navajo Code Talkers. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry. This relates to it um, just because a lot of people, they just dismissed the fact that hey, you just helped us win World War II, but um, we're not going to help you in any sort of other way. Um, just go back to your normal lives on reservations and, you know, we'll keep watching and make sure that no one's, you know, stepping out of line and that sort of thing. Um, there, I mean, this did obviously change, you know, war and that sort of thing. Um, like I said, I don't think that it changed anything for the better or the worse, just... Everything kind of stayed about the same with um, the Navajo and Americans. Um, I just think it is a very cool story and um, a very cool narrative of, you know, what happened and um, how they helped. And I do wish that this was more publicly known. Thank you.